Here is the doc link. Yeah, let me share my screen. Cool. So yeah, welcome to our next level uh, strategy session here. We do these Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. The replays are available in the Next Level Mastermind. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, smash the like button, do all the stuff the kids are doing these days. Also check out our Facebook group at insiderealestate.com slash Facebook group for lots of stuff related to Katie Core and growing your real estate business. So Annalisa, you, uh, you put together this awesome doc. This was your idea this session. Basically, you want to explain third-party tools, right? Yeah, I think it's super handy to have a list of go-to apps that might make your day, your life, your week, your business life easier. And a lot of these can be combined with business uses, personal uses, if you do volunteer work or build your own, you know, have your own business other than real estate um, or just your life in general, depending on what you need. So these are all intended to help you find hex codes for your branding colors if you want to match it to your site to find community type things you can do to support your community, like with Move With Hunger. Uh, if you're looking for deals and promo codes, save a few dollars, you know, save a little cabbage on what you're buying. We got some information in there. Making animated GIFs, grammar and writing, resizing and editing uh, images. Of course, our inside real estate mobile apps. I linked those out to iTunes and Google Play to make sure you have links to find those. Uh, different types of internet. If you need to check your internet speed at home to nail your provider, that might be a helpful one. Link shorteners, different types of free media, free images and videos. Uh, the mobile number registry is going to be a big one to go over. Okay. Uh, online image storage and all sorts of amazing things. So <laughs> it's a pretty well-rounded uh, list. So basically everybody. the idea here is we're going to do a little shiny object kind of stuff today, not to distract. Um, we've been pretty on target. We've been talking about lots of juicy stuff, but today we're going to kind of have a little fun, right? We're gonna right. Have... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's a, it's fun stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start to just click through these and maybe the ones that I'm familiar with, I'll just handle it, but I'll let you take the ones that you know really well. Yeah. Um, so uh, the color pick eyedropper is a tool that I, I use all the time. Um, what this is, it's a Chrome extension that lets you grab any color that you see on a page and get the code for it. So if I go to um, my website here mm -hmm. and you see, I've got it kind of set to blue, but in the KV core settings, if I want to, I can actually go and change the main coloring and theme of my site. Right. right? So if I go to web and IDX settings, I'll just quickly show that. Um, and I want to, match the color up, say, to Forever Florida's logo, my company mm -hmm. logo. So that's the scenario here. So I'm here in this in the uh, settings. Here's my template theme color. So what I can do once I have the color picker installed is I can click on it. I'm, it's really small on your screens, guys, but I'm clicking on it in the Chrome browser. You can see it kind of pop up there. I it adds like an extension, right? Yeah, it puts a little yeah. icon up there for me. And then if I roll over here, it'll pick any color off the page. So I'm gonna grab, Forever Florida has actually got a pretty, it's just usually white on black. So there's not a lot of color, it's not the greatest example, but let's say I wanna grab the green out, of the green out of the palm tree here and I just click on it, it's gonna give me the code for that. So I can then go into K, back into KV Core. Isn't I just on the page? Aha, it's in another browser right here. Yeah, you were. <laughs> And I can grab that green. Now it's not always super perfect. That was a really small one. It's better when you have like the full um, color, but you guys get the idea. So if you need to match something to your logo, if you're trying to match something to a living room or mm -hmm. a, you know something in a house and you're trying to just trying to make something look sharp, this color picker makes helps you kind of do the things designers do with their eyeballs, but but use this tool. So. Um, let's see here if the color changed for me. And I know sometimes when we change this, we got to wait for a cash switch, right? Oh, it's, it's switched. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see now I've got the green that was in the palm tree, um, where I could have taken the blue. So that's a very handy one. Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, it's just super easy and quick. I think that's the big thing with all of our lives right now. What can I do to quick it? That's, you know, fix something that's quick and I can move on. This is, this will tool do it. Cool. What's this move for hunger? I've never heard of this one. Move for Hunger is really, really cool and something all of you can easily incorporate into your real estate life. So this allows you to maybe share this with your folks who are selling. And when they're selling, you can 
introduce them to this to donate the food that they have in their home if they're not going to move it with them. So this allows them to connect with a local charity and donate their food towards the community uh, and feeding the community. Awesome. Yeah, yeah very it's, cool. it's really awesome and easy for you to showcase on your website or include with your seller package to help them prepare for donation, whether it's with food. And of course, there's other local things you can you know, a partner with for clothing and, and furniture and so forth. Uh, but this is a really neat program. And they have a nice video on their homepage. Just a tip, guys, you can, it is a YouTube video. I clicked through, so you could probably embed the, the uh, video or link mm -hmm. out to it, you know, within a blog post or a custom page, if you do want to talk about it and kind of, you could do a blog post talking about it a little bit and then just say, you know, watch the video below for more details. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really neat thing. And this is also something like, even if, even if someone's not moving right now, you could always encourage them to donate food, you know, and then when they're ready to sell, they have this tool too. So it kind of keeps it all uh, community focused and, um, you know, just personable and humanitarian to your business. Yeah, they have a dedicated real estate sign up too that I'll put there on here. Oh, thank you. I forgot about that. Yeah, so I'll just turn that on the, the doc here. What's Retail Me Not? I've heard of that one. So with these deals here, of course, there's all sorts of promo code deals out there. Retail Me Not, I believe, is the strongest one in the market. You can basically go to this site and say, I am looking for Canva, Snappa, uh, uh, travel information, DSW shoes, whatever it is. Um, or maybe it's even gifts for closing gifts, right? You can go in here and keyword search what you're searching for at that top bar. Like maybe it's Cutco or not cutlery or something. I don't know. Uh, but you can look at to see if there's a promo code online in seconds here and save some, save some dollars potentially. Cool. Yep. Very and you'll handy. see there is a ton of opportunity here to, to save some money. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of these right now in the crypto space, there's the fold card. There's a lot of people doing these kind of plays where they give you back money in, in crypto. If you yeah. use that, oh, okay. Uh, the discount, so I'll just plug that one. Right. Um, but it's very similar where you get these discount codes for use, you know, money off if you use their uh, their card. Mm -hmm. at these different yeah. Retailers. It's cool. it's really amazing, and Honey is similar. Uh, yeah. However, Honey gives you an extension for your browser. You can also have it on your phone. But when you get to your checkout cart and you click and run Honey, it actually automatically pulls all of the promo codes it can possibly find from the interwebs and applies them to your cart one by one and finds you the best one in seconds. Very cool. And I've saved a lot of money there. Also, it gives you the ability to save money with Honey. Uh, if you opt in for one of their, say they don't find a promo code. Well, what they can do is say, well, we'll save you money. If you purchase the gift card through us for this service, we will save you X amount of dollars. And then you just take the gift card promo code they give you and apply it to your purchase on that site. So they are working with ways on saving the consumer money, which is huge. Yeah. And then, and then Redbox promos. Yeah. yeah. It's it's just what it sounds like. You can go to Redbox and if you're going to gift people promo codes or Redbox cards, maybe as a drop by gift or a movie night fun thing for a thank you for folks, you know, this is where you can go and actually mass purchase kiosk promo codes for gifts. So integrating this stuff into our real estate business, this sounds like a, you know, it could be a cool blog post, just uh, something you, you mail out. It's not directly related to real estate all the time, but this is, right. this is an example of something you can do to just kind of build rapport with your community. Yeah. Um, and I think like things. with Honey Retail Me Not, I mean, if you need to buy business cards or office supplies or things like that, you can use those to find deals, which is huge. Great. Um, let's see, uh, now GIFs, now we're getting to some of the geeky stuff here. Yeah, uh, GIFs, screen to GIF is a lot of fun. Uh, and I am by no means techie myself. You're uh, saying but, it wrong. Choosy mothers choose GIF, not GIF. Oh, dang it. I, I know it's Did GIF. Did you I get your, it. your peanut butter in my chocolate? What happened yeah. here? Um, <laughs> so basically <laughs> screen to GIF allows you to build a really easy animated GIF. You just record something via this uh, screen to gift. And then you have the ability of speeding it up, slowing it down, chopping sections out. And we use a lot of these <clears throat> screen to gift in our articles for Katie Core. Um, so, you know, if you're seeing an animated GIF, odds are we made it in that. And it's really easy to, to use and learn. I never knew about this one. And I think we should just turn off the Zoom now so I can waste the, the rest of the hour. Hey, bye everybody. Thanks for playing, stopping. Playing with this. <laughs> now I'm bookmarking it. I'm dragging it right here to my, my bookmark. Yeah. Uh, it's a actually, fun one. 
I'm going to drag it, drag it here to my stuff to check out bookmark. We talk about this bookmark trick from time to time, yes. right? Folder yes. or something. So it's in there. All right. Awesome. Uh, the you next made my one, day. Good. Yeah. Cause well, I know you love your gifts. Uh, yeah. The grammar and writing Grammarly is huge. So I started using this, gosh, I think two or three years ago, there is a free version. And basically it watches your grammar, syntax, punctuation, all of that good stuff. And they do have a paid version that actually hints to tone. How might your email be perceived by the way it's written currently? Okay. So it kind of has all of these little check marks. Uh, but right now on the free version, it'll watch your grammar punctuation. It'll hint at your tone. But if you want the real meat and potatoes of how you could craft it differently to achieve perhaps a different tone, uh, that's their paid version. But it's super easy to use with a, grant, uh, a Chrome extension and just attach it and it'll proof your emails and anything you're writing. So if I'm, if I'm creating, say I'm, I go jump over here to KB Core and I do create an email, yep. uh, it'll kind of tell me if I'm if I'm being naughty or I, I've, I've got spelling well, errors. Or if you if you spell like I'm a big one for skipping of and the, because my right. bot, my head is like, nope, I don't have time for of and the. So I'm constantly typing out just directions that might skip words that your brain's going to fill in. Uh, right. So that's where this comes into play. Cool. And to make uh, sure that you're, you know, ready to go. Just trying to go through our little wizard here so it starts to work. Here we go. Yeah. Not it's there. super quick and easy. And it adds an extension to the top of your uh, Google Chrome as well. So now that I've installed that, I can just go here and, and kind of create an email. Yeah, you should be able to go to the top to quick actions and write an email or go into a contact or that one doesn't have an email address, it looks like. Yeah, pick a bad example. So yeah, there you go. Quick actions. You know, the old version's starting to look old. I'm so used to being in the new. The new Me favorite. too. I've noticed that too. I'm like, oh, I remember that. I'll say, all right. So I see Grammarly's, Grammarly's right there. Hey, bro. So it, I don't think you've turned it on quite yet. Or you have to like say no thanks for a quick tour at the bottom right. Uh, but see how it's saying, it's like already identifying, that might be just a misspelling in there, but as you yes. use it, it's going to tell you like, okay, you misspelled this. If you put the comma here, maybe you don't need that Oxford comma. Maybe you do, uh, but this is where this comes into play. It works. Okay. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it's super, super handy. And, and it'll actually give you a report every week on, you know, these are how many corrections that you had. And I actually was able to monitor mine and see my, because of the constant reminder from Grammarly, uh, I saw my errors kind of, uh, you know, lowering, <laughs> which was great. <laughs> That's really handy. You know, if you're working in a proper, you know, word uh, processing, you know, like Google Docs or Word, then then it's going to do some of that for you. But if you're using a third party app like KB Core, you know, this stuff isn't built into KB Core necessarily. So that's really cool. Right. But you're creating a blog post, you're writing an email, it's got your back. Yep. And it's super handy just to have it double check things in Word because Word is basically going to tell you misspellings, but not perhaps verbiage or you know, punctuation issues. Great. So great. different things to look at. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one installed. I'll be like, did about Ryan it. write this or did Grammarly write this? Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. The next section is all about image resizing and editing. Yes. So pick resize is super handy because it goes in hand with your sizing mm. up your images article that we have for all of the different images within KB Core and where you can place them. So if you have an image on your desktop and you're like, oh shoot, it needs to match this specific image for a background image or my profile or my secondary logo, you would use this site to re resize that image so it fits correctly into that space. I'm just grabbing a, a, a random image that I had in my clipboard. Yep. So as my thanks image there. So yeah, you can change the size. Um, you can actually add a couple of effects. Mm -hmm. You want to make it gray. Um, yeah. Play and then we have options it. of what, how you want to save it and then uh, complete it. And then it's done. It's just yeah, super one, quick. One common thing you'll run into is sometimes you have an image that's just too big size wise. Mm -hmm. uh, the actual file size is too big. Uh, so you can, you can also kind of compress it here too. Right. Yeah. It's a super handy free site. Cool. And it looks like it has cropping too. Mm -hmm. like it's that. got all sorts of goodies. Cool. So pick resize. Yep. Did you get my Luna pick in here? I'll mention my Luna pick real quick. No, what is that? 
Lunapic is like Picris size and L Lunapic, but they've got just tons. It's almost overwhelming, but they've got tons of things you can do to oh, an image in here. Yeah. So I'll all type kinds that in of there. Fun stuff. Rounded borders and yeah, all kinds of weird, crazy things. Cool. Huh. Oh, well, a <laughs> cheetah, a cheetah and a Christmas ornament. Yeah, you can put yourself in a Christmas ornament. I mean, all who kinds knew? Of <laughs> that would actually be a fun image for a newsletter. Yeah. But if it was Christmas and it was a new listing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It could be, yeah. It could be fun. You could put a picture of a listing inside there, mm -hmm. you know, send it, I don't know, something. Yeah. Something. You, something. Know, you can be creative. But it's good to just be aware of these, that they're out there. Um, yeah. Let's see. KV Core sizing up your images. What's yeah. And that's the article that just speaks to all of the different image sizes we have for the site. Oh, so it'll speak to background images, avatars, secondary logos, you know, we try to make sure that you're aware of what image is the, the space is created for, for different areas. So you can make sure it all formats, right? Okay, image sizes for various. Capable. Thank you. Stuff's, Grammarly is not hitting me up for my slang there. <laughs> I, I, I ignored it. All right, converting a PDF to GIF. Uh, to, JPEG. to JPEG, right. This is super handy. So let's say you have a PDF, but you want to actually use it as an image in a blog, in uh, a, maybe it's a background for a landing page. You know, this is something where you can take your PDF and actually convert it to a JPEG in seconds. Gotcha. So if I got one of my kids' math worksheets, cool. Yes. And then you can download it, use it wherever you need to, or maybe it's something you've got a, a PDF where you want to grab that and then resize it for a background image. You know, these are all tools you can work with each other. That's actually really handy because you, you can do, it does each page separate. So if you have a contract even, mm -hmm. um, and you just want to kind of get one of the pages out very quickly and mark it up. Um, yeah, very cool. Yep. Cool. And then Kelly, uh, one of our trainers, senior trainers, uh, told me about remove image background. This is really neat because you can keep things on the foreground of an image and then remove everything behind it so it goes grayscale or transparent. All right, let's try it. Now, I myself haven't checked this out yet because I just learned about it like at five o'clock last night, uh, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Well, there's there's the, yep, looking, looking natural and good there, buddy. <laughs> So take that right there. Yeah, yeah. Your school we'll... pictures must have been amazing when you were a kid. They were awesome. They were awesome. <laughs> you should see my wedding pictures. Okay, I'll go. ask. <laughs> remove, remove background. Okay, so it's going to upload the picture. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have all the stuff there in the back. Do you see my hippie uh, stone guy there? Yes, there. Look Abraham, at that. Hippie April and Lincoln. So that's really that's cool awesome. and useful. Yes. So now instead of like Spider-Man hanging upside down from the eve, it could be you. Gotcha. Very cool. Uh, I'm happy to have found this one. Uh, this is going back in the, the stuff to check out. <laughs> the to-do list to check out. Right. Yeah. All right. Now, moving in, we have, of course, all of our inside real estate apps. We have the KD Core mobile app that also includes the dialer, which is fantastic. I did link these out to Google Play and iTunes for you. So yep. we've got the Google, uh, or sorry, Kiwi Core mobile app, the Core open house app, both of which I double dog dare you to put on your phones today if you haven't already. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one is Nosy Neighbor. This is our brand new product that just launched, which is super cool. I'm so happy to see it back. If you were uh, part of the old conversion uh, legacy product, you know, we had Nosy Neighbor. This is like Nosy Neighbor on what, steroids plus, this is a total plus Wheaties? It's like steroid plus Wheaties plus caffeine. I don't know. Yeah, it's a total reimagining of that that initial product. It's designed to do a similar thing where it's it's kind of automated farming, but it is crazy. Um, so nosyneighbor.com has kind of the goods on that one, guys, if you want yeah. to just check that out. And it's basically about targeting and farming specific areas in the area we cover to build branding and recognition and uh, business, I would say. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the end goal is to generate listing opportunities yeah. is, the, is the main gist of it. Yeah, so. it's pretty awesome. And it has its own distinct app along with uh, tying into KB Core. Cool. Uh, and then, of course, the internet, the Ookla speed test is super handy just to have bookmarked on, you know, for your home internet or your business internet, just so you can give a little check on the speed tests that your internet company is saying they're providing. 
And that way, if they yeah. are not providing it, you can screen capture that and send it on over. My, my, my local cable company still can't beat my T-Mobile download speeds. It's, it's insane. Huh. <laughs> wow. It's so it's so frustrating. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, just, just as an aside, T-Mobile, I mean, I guess it's relevant to today's discussion. T-Mobile is starting to offer uh, internet uh, 5G and 4G via a box that my in-laws got. They, they live in a rural place. So if anybody, if you guys are, anybody listening is rural and you have any clients or yourself who, you know, can't get fast internet because the cable company doesn't have a connection or something, T-Mobile does have that now. It's really good. Really good. You get, you get about 50 down, like kind of what I'm getting here at home. Wow. So, yeah. Just a tip. Um, yeah. yeah my, uh, they just thought they were baiting it in central PA where a couple months ago, but I think they've launched it nationwide now. So cool. Yep. Yeah. It works off the cell towers, you know, not, not off the, the cable company. And who doesn't want to like take business away from the cable companies? I do. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the other helpful one here are link shorteners. Mm -hmm. So as you know, when you're creating a squeeze page in KB Core, you know, we recommend you use the direct link in KB Core and do not use a short link in Facebook, right? Yes. But you can actually grab a long link and use Bitly uh, for other things you want to share with folks, whether it's via text, via email, via you know, anything you want to share, it just is a nice character saver, but just keep in mind that Facebook does not like redirects like sh link shorteners. Otherwise the, it works great. One of the saddest things that ever happened to me was when Google got that GL got deprecated. And, I know and, that was like, that was my favorite. And then I had to move to bit.ly and now it's my favorite. What it was so do? easy to use. Uh, yeah. And, and the bit.ly the also gives you an extension you can download. So when you have your, in, like, for me, if I was to share this doc, I could just go to my bit.ly extension, click on it, and it immediately creates a shortened link for me for this document. Yeah. So bit.ly does have a free plan, I imagine, right? Yeah, that's what I'm using. Yeah. You can, you. so the cool thing about this is you can upgrade it and you can actually name your links yeah. something specific. So if you want to keep branding recognition going, you can do that, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, I haven't found the need to have to do that yet. This is, uh, I'll mention something like Snipply too. There are a lot of these things out there that allow you to put overlays on top of pages and mm -hmm. also give you a short link. Um, so I'll sneak that in snipply.io and a call to action to every shortened link you share. So you can create the shortened link and then it'll do like a pop-up over that link. Um, cool. Yeah. So uh, it's kind of cool. Like if you're, if you're sharing a specific listing, mm -hmm. you know, you could have a pop-up over it that says you kind of overlay over KB Core. Uh, a call to action to go to uh, three, two, one main or something. Yeah. Like you're for, you know, you're promoting a listing, but then you do this pop-up toaster that says, Hey, go see a list of all the foreclosures in the area. Stuff like oh, that. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's a related thing. Also, if you really want to geek out, I've used this in the past. Uh, if you want to, if you have your own server and you want to create your own U URL shortener, uh, mm -hmm. yo URLs is out there. Uh, I had, you might like this dot info and was running a URL shortener forever until the wrong types of people got their hands on it and my URLs were going to all kinds of great stuff. So that, oh. that got ended, but. Uh, and what's it called again? Yo URLs.org. Yo, oh, so if you your wanna, and then LS, okay. Yeah, if you want to host your own service, that, that, the main reason you would do this is because you're, you got your little techie and you want to control the base domain. So instead of it being Bitly, you could buy a domain and put a, a shortener service on top of it. It's Y-O-U-R-L-S? Yeah. Okay. The other thing I'm going to super geek out because we are going on like kind of, we're, we're going shiny object today, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all handy stuff to make your life easier. Um, well, you, you're, you're, you're setting me off on this URL shortening. If you do have a WordPress site and you use WordPress a lot, there are tons of plugins that can do this stuff. Um, there's the redirection plugin. Um, so you could do it off your, instead of going full yo URLs, if you want it off your own domain, you can install a plugin like uh, quick redirects and then set your own redirects there too. So I'm going way tangent here, but on the topic of shortened URLs, the stuff is out there. Cool. I added that note in on the uh, doc there for everybody. Cool. Um, all right. Now, oh, yeah. Images, huh? Yes. This is my favorite. Uh, so if you're looking for a free place to go to look for images or videos that are open to use, You've got Pixabay, Pexels, and Unsplash, Unsplash's images only. 
Pixabay and Pexels gives you the ability to look at videos or images. Now, the thing to watch for here is you see that top line where everything's kind of grayed out at the top. Mm -hmm. Those are paid. Those are all you're going to, those are equal dollar signs. You're going to pay for those. Everything okay. below that is open game. So one of my favorite hacks when running Facebook ads in particular is uh, to just grab an image, a generic image of an interior living room or kitchen. Mm hmm and they generally work really well um, instead of like hunting for an image, a listing that you have permission to use the pictures. You know, so say I was doing free free weekly list of luxury home foreclosures, you know, in Tampa, Florida, I might find right. like a really nice looking living. Oh, that's a great ad image. Yeah. Look at this one. <laughs> Bad gateway. What? Look, a, look, a squirrel. Did you see the one with the water flooding in? Yes. So. So this generally, a, yeah, you should be able to click on it and then there's a download button, which is awesome. This would be a great waterfront homes. Um. <laughs> it's funny. Um, and then there's like a little download guy over there. And the nice thing about this is when you click download, you can choose the size you want. But then when you, after you click it, then it's important that you give props to the person that created and provided it to you for free. So you have the ability, it actually loads up the ability for you to say thanks to that ah. image creator, which is something I would really encourage you to do because they're the ones that went out there trying to build their businesses as well in offering this. You can also drop them a buck or two for the image if you want to, uh, but it's just a way of supporting fellow entrepreneurs, yeah. which help with your creatives. Well, like that one, I, that one, I just find to be awesome. I'll throw them a couple of bucks. Like, hey, yeah. thanks. Cause that, that's such a really cool, high quality image that I'm going to mm -hmm. create. Uh, yeah. There's all sorts of interesting things in here. I know I've had with my setup service, people have been like, well, can you find me a text, uh, like a view of the Texas bluebells in a field? Or can you find me brownstones? Could you find me uh, like a historical neighborhood in this area? So you can really get in there and keyword search really good on Pixabay, Pexels, Unsplash. I can't guarantee you the results, but odds are you'll find something similar to what you're seeking. I, I searched funny uh, just to see if they got anything fun. And that cat in the sunglasses is like my cat to a T. But mine would be like, Tritz, give me Tritz. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, you can really get pretty creative here. Yeah, awesome. Yep. And also, uh, Unsplash is a really cool free image site. Not done. I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm just thinking, no, but, you know, know. tying this directly into different niches that we always talk about with our oh, yeah. systems. So, you know, like swimming pools. Yep. Uh, Make a splash, yeah. Swimming pool houses. There you go. Nice a sloth on a, on a flamingo float. I mean, who knew? Yeah, this would be really <laughs> useful. This one right here for a swimming pool ad. You got the dog and the kid. Yeah. So, yeah, I love it. So Unsplash, right? Yes. Okay. Unsplash is another free source for images. Yep. There are also super quality, beautiful images here that are shared, but these are all open source for you to, to use. Again, it gives you the ability to thank the artist as well. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So blog post, all your content marketing, these are great resources. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, one last one I want to show you is on YouTube. Yes. If you just open up YouTube, there's a way you can search things in YouTube to find creative common videos and basically okay. that means these are videos that the user has given permission for people to share and use in their wherever they want to yep. so you can do your keyword search for okay. whatever you're seeking and then there's that little filter guy at the top left and the creative commons is in that fourth row over around the middle and when you click creative commons these are all videos that you could access and use I mean, sometimes you might see your competition in here with their own videos that they've shared or even uh, people you might want to network with that are influencers out there or different businesses. So this gives you the ability to see who might be local that I could partner with uh, to do video work even. So I like this 10 cozy home hacks. Um, you know, you don't even, if something's editable from YouTube, you don't quite to embed it on your site. You don't even really need the creative comments but this is a great you know using other people's content mm -hmm. um, but creating blog posts and, and emails and stuff around it it's yeah and like to blog it all you'd have to do is click share and then the little uh code icon and copy that code and paste it into your blog yep. it's that simple and it'll just drop the video in there you title it 
click uh, save and away it goes. Yeah, you write a little, write a little, um, this is called content curation, basically write a little intro, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you were to think in your own voice and then, then push people over to the video. Yep. Um, you could do the same thing, guys, with the filtering on, uh, on images.google.com too. Um, yes. Yep. Creative commenting. So career living room. And then, settings. And yeah. Tool. It's at tools. For is use the right tools. Here. That's right. Usage. Yep. And then creative comments like that. If you yep. Get some stuff. I'll add that on there. Cool. Oh, and I had a, I, I wrote SOC. Screencast-O-Matic has a library. Oh, um, yeah. I forgot about their library. We have one yeah. in our um, newsletters, too, or our advanced email editor. Yeah. So you can go into, I think you may need, actually need the premium. I'm not sure. Um, but you can insert, insert uh, a video, for example, and then you can go to their stock library. And mm -hmm. Screencast-O-Matic has this stock library that you can use. And kind yeah, of I think Screencast-O-Matic has it. I think Wistia has their own library now too. Great, yeah. So that's that. Uh, now here is a big one. If you have, if you don't do any of the things today, I encourage you to check out this mobile number registry. This has something to do with how your calls are going to get to your ultimate goal of talking with someone. As we know, we're like, what, 2021, everything's getting more and more uh, tightened down on, you know, security, spam, all that, all that. This is actually two tools that are going to help you improve the calling experience to your contacts and also to be uh, removed from the flag of a scam likely. So I encourage you to check these out. Yeah, definitely. So you can kind of register with the site and then you won't come up with scam likely. Is that it? Yep. Cool. Yeah, call transparency. And then first Orion, uh, when you go to the next one, first Orion has a list of mobile character, character carriers of which they work with on this call transparency. So T-Mobile launched something really big, I don't know, last year. And I think other companies have launched it as well. Uh, but this shows you all of the characters or carriers that you can, uh, that are associated with these services. You can kind of sign up, make sure you get that, uh, mobile experience uh, as smooth as you can as things tighten up with regulations. Yeah, especially since a lot of what we're doing with KV Core depends on the auto text in particular yep. and, and, yeah. and your calling, so. Smart campaign text, video text, all that good stuff. Yeah, so register, I, I, don't, I haven't gone through the process myself, but I assume you kind of uh, give them information about you and then they, they check to see that you're legit? Is yes, okay. and I can't speak to cost or anything or plans. I, I have no idea. However, I know this is super important for all of you to learn about and, and look into. Cool. Uh, the next is online image storage. This is super, super important to have for your land, for like your landing page backgrounds uh, yeah. or images that you want to embed onto your custom pages or blogs. Uh, so Imgur or Photobucket or any you know, carrier that, where you can store your mm -hmm. images online will work for this. The whole idea is you want to get a direct link for an image. So click on any one of those. Yeah. So there's a dog going, eh, I don't know. Uh, but when you, if you want to, if you upload an image that you own or have taken, you actually can have a direct link to that image. I'm not sure if I've used it the way you are right now. Um, but it gives you a direct link. So when you click on the image, usually there's like a little menu to the right when you've uploaded it yourself. Uh, but there should be a little share guy, direct link. Yeah. And then yeah. you can just use that direct link and use that as your custom background in the landing page. Yeah, I keep, I keep hitting videos. Um, I was trying to get one that's actually an image. Well, you can use GIFs too. Okay, let's see. In the background, usually. How do I keep getting it? I mean, that dog, to... that dog knows what's up. Getting so if I upload... teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, if you upload an image, so you'd have to have an Imgur account, uh, but you can upload your image and then you're able to uh, grab a direct link and use that as your custom backgrounds. And then as you build your custom background library, you know, you'll have backgrounds to speak to anything that you need to do. So the, I'm not going to go through the whole thing right now, but basically you can take the image address and put it into 
landing pages or share the image anywhere yep. else you want. And I did a tutorial on that not long ago, so I'll throw that on the bottom of the sheet when we're done here. Okay. Snappa? Yeah, Canva and Snappa are very, very similar. I'd say I personally, I know you love Canva. I like Snappa because it actually gave you free, or not free, but they're actually built in templates depending on what media you're using. I mean, I haven't oh, checked cool. out Canva to know, but like it'll tell you, this is the dimension of Instagram. So this is what it's going to look like if you post it to Instagram. This is what your cover photo will look like on a group. This is what a cover photo could look like on your business page. So it actually gives you the dimensions. And then yeah. inside of it, it'll say, oh, here's what it'll look like desktop. Here's what it'll look like mobile. So it gives you two different borders. So you can see if you want to just build one background for mobile that'll also translate to desktop, it gives you the tools to do that. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, it's super handy. I use this a lot uh, over the last few years. Snappa. Mm -hmm. And you had Canva. I was skipping, I skipped photo bucket, but that's another image storage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, Canva, Snappa, they're they're very similar. Um, to me, I like Snappa. It just meshed better with the way my head works over Canva. So, you know, there's all sorts of options out there. I just realized we're going in alphabetical order. That's handy. We are. Yep. <laughs> yep. You know what happens right. when I get to like organize stuff. <laughs> yep. All right. HubSpot <laughs> Signature Creator. Yes. Now this is something that support recommended because I asked them like, hey guys, what do you recommend to everyone out there when they're seeking for XYZ? What comes up? And this was by far one of the most popular ones. This HubSpot email signature creator actually allows you to build in, just add in your information, and then it creates a signature for you to grab and put into your Gmail, your KB Core signature via your profile, et cetera. Cool. Yep. There's all sorts of neat tools on HubSpot. I mean, it's already an incredible resource for free learning tools. And basically, it's a lot of people building things and sharing them with the world, which is pretty awesome. So if I create this signature here, mm -hmm. um, I can then embed it into say Gmail or something, right? Yep. Very cool. I guess it'll give me some kind of code. I haven't gone through it completely myself, right uh, but right. uh, then it'll ask like for info and all that good stuff. But you know, it just kind of walks you through a wizard and then you're, you're a wizard, Harry. Sure. All right. I just want to show everybody that kind of yep. uh, copy signature source code, and then I can go into Gmail, mm -hmm. I assume. So let's go to Gmail. Oh, boy. If you guys could let us know in chat if this has like been super helpful, that would be great. I just want to make sure we're providing information that is going to help you with your business. Um, we just want to make sure we're on the right track because I think these are some good tools, but I just want to check in with all of you. Yeah. Also, um, if you guys, we should have mentioned this, if you guys had stuff that you like to use, we'll, we'll, we can take a few minutes and talk about that as well, right? What yes, absolutely. I uh, think this is one of the things like at the top, you know, at the page I wrote, um, you know, these aren't, these are third parties that aren't affiliated with IRE, KB Core or anything. These are just things that all of us as, as empl employees, as people, used to make our lives easier and we wanted to make sure you had it as well so if you've got something that's like super helpful to you please let us know and we'll check it out and add it oops i was just trying to show you <laughs> yep Copy signature code so that's it you get the code and i think i can just pop it in here is that right you should be able to okay so yeah it's like it's like uh html so i probably need to you need to get the source view yeah which I'm I good. haven't done in a signature. Well, I'm sure there's a way, or yeah. you know what? I bet you. Just copy it. The yeah. regular without the source, I bet you that does the trick. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yep. So cool. Now, before you close that out, leave you leave your email open there or your Gmail signature because this is gonna loop into the use of Linktree. Okay. Linktree is super, super cool because it gives you the ability to have one shareable link to multiple sources of information. Yeah. So this is something, if you're on Instagram, Facebook, any social media profile, you can actually just put this link in your profile. 
And then you can say, click here to get my website, click here to view homes, click here to get my seller's book, click here to get X, Y, Z. But it allows you to build in five links that are available off of one shareable link. I'm going to do this because I have this old blog um, that I don't, you know, it was meant to kind of do this, right? Mm -hmm. it's if you, if you want to have like a hub for all the stuff you do, this kind oh, of yeah. eliminates the need for that because all the blog was doing was it had con it was linking out the content on various channels, the YouTube channel, Facebook, LinkedIn, yep. wherever, where you could just have, you could buy a domain like your name.info or your name.com and just send it to the link tree basically. Yep. And the thing that's, I just thought about this. The thing that's neat about this is if you're going to be posting maybe a custom text code for a property, or maybe you're posting to Craigslist and you're putting custom text codes in or wherever you're gonna put a custom text code is you could just say, text this code to this number to get this link, right? But then you mm -hmm. could have a call to action, like click here to view the property, click here to see similar listings, click here to get first time home buyer program information, click here to get this. So you could build in a whole library of information on one of these. Yeah, you can actually make a single property page out of a link tree. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll let everybody play with that. It's kind of, I don't have time right now to kind of go in and create one, but I yeah. think everybody gets the idea. It walks uh, you through. Yep. Um, now, next we have our favorite things that we usually go to for screenshots. Ryan and I both use Lightshot Screenshot. I really yeah. like this program a lot. It's simple. It's easy. And you can either just copy it save it or save it to the cloud with a link. Yeah. So let's just say I wanted to the screenshot of this living room. I have a hot code a key that I programmed into a uh, light shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mine's just I, print screen. Yeah. I had an issue. Uh, I couldn't use print screen for some reason. So gotcha. I, I created it some else, but yeah, it is usually print screen. And mm -hmm. then I can draw arrows. Um, you can add hours. text, yeah. Text. It's and usually then, smaller text, but you know. Yeah, um, and then you can quickly share or upload. So if I want to, if I want to get a link for it, you see at the bottom right of my screen, I get this link that I can share with people. Mm -hmm. um, or you can just directly share it on. Yeah, just click a little copy channel. thing, and then that. So this is a lot of the time when I'm screenshotting people in our discussion group on how to get somewhere quickly. I'll just open up my light shot screenshot, take a screenshot, draw a few arrows, write out a couple directions and paste it in. Yeah, you know, if you actually right click and copy, you can go right to Facebook and paste. Oh yeah, yeah, I've done that before, but if I need to add like uh, info, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll always add a little couple arrows or something. Yeah, so very, very handy tool, light shot screenshot. Um, yes, uh, now Aubin, one of our account managers told me about go full page last night. And this is, this blew my mind because there's some days where I'm like, I wish I could screenshot the whole website page, not just a piece of it, but the whole shebang. And this allows you to do that. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. And then green shot is one I haven't checked out. I've heard it's awesome. One of our account managers uh, messaged me on this one. Cool. So it's similar to light shot. Yeah, it's similar. It's just something, I don't know. Support told me about this one. Cool. Uh, just similar to light shot and it's a tool that they use regularly cool i'll give this one a shot and see if it has if it's similar to light shot but i can do a little more on the annotation I, i'd consider moving it over yeah me too yeah 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 the light shot's great it, does, it already does a lot yep if i could just make the font bigger <laughs> yes that that's probably the biggest thing but it's yeah. free so uh, what are you gonna do <laughs> yep um cool well, this uh, next one is texting okay if you want to text via your laptop for Android, just click this Android Android message for web and you can actually text from your laptop or your desktop. Oh, it's a Google thing? Yeah. And then there's also iMessages for web. I didn't find that iPhone or iMessages had something similar to the Android messages, but this is kind of a workaround on how to text iPhone uh, from your desktop laptop right underneath the uh, texting section on the dock. Basically, you just open up your phone on Android, grab your QR reader, and it actually verifies that you are an Android user and connects you your phone with your laptop desktop. That's very handy. I'm always getting in trouble because I don't check my phone during the day and I don't I don't respond to Michelle's text. So maybe I'll put this on. It'll give you a little like toaster on your computer when you get a message. 
Yeah, basically it gives you like a little uh, notification. Gotcha. Yeah. And if you cool. have, and you'll have a tab open at the top. So it's kind of like the tab will be open at the top of your browser and you'll see like a little one, a little two, a little three. So it'll tell you what you've got going on. Very cool. Yeah. Tab more options. Obvious layer. Yeah. Market. Yeah, it's super easy, super easy to connect and super easy to disconnect when you're done if you don't want other people to see your texts if you're sharing a computer. Cool. Uh, next what is got, this big view? big view? Yeah, big view. This is something I learned <laughs> about from Kelly last night. I know I thought it was view too. Yeah. Uh, but basically, this allows you to add a teleprompter to your screen on your phone. Uh huh. So you can look professional and not have to be glancing down. You can just read it naturally right in front of you. So you're oh. still making eye contact with your audience. Gotcha. Which is huge. Gotcha. So instead gotcha. of having like your, your eight-year-old making you cue cards all day and dropping them like Letterman, you can just use this. That's that's kind of handy if you're doing yes. that. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so Screencast-O-Matic, we've talked a lot about Screencast-O-Matic. That's our favorite recording software and it does do screenshots and stuff too yeah uh -huh. it has a lot and i think it's what 46 a year for deluxe or something it's inexpensive in the grand scheme of things yeah I, i'm getting i'm getting really really I, i love my screencast matic game if i can Me be too. not hum if i could be not humble for a minute i've been making these little demo videos aren't those fun yeah let's see but you can put music in the background i want to show uh -huh. off one of the videos for one of our products. So for Pond accounts here, guys, which is coming very soon. It's so exciting. In this video, we'll you hear the music? New Pond accounts feature. Not yet. Uh, but Prospect you can. Curse. It's kind of loud. But... Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can add music to the background. You can do all kinds of arrows and highlights and everything. There's, I think we have a tutorial in Next Level about using Screencast Manic, but I'll take a double look. Maybe we need a whole session on that again. I think um, so. Yeah, just about editing, just yeah. just all kinds of things you can do to edit using Screencast-O-Matic. Yeah, because you can like highlight, uh, have things pop out, zoom in, zoom out, whatever. It's, there's so much you can do there. Yeah. Uh, Loom is super cool. It, it they has a free option up to five minutes of use uh, for a video. I haven't seen it tap out on how many videos you can create at five minutes, but Loom is super handy. It can also uh, load an extension. So... Uh, if I'm on the phone with someone and they're like, okay, this is what I'm seeking. Can you show me what it'll look like? Or maybe I need to send something to support to say, hey, can we take a look at this? This is what's happening. You know, so if you've got a technical issue going on, Loom is super handy because you can actually record what's happening. And then yeah. it gives you a link directly to that recording when it's done. Great. And that works off a of Chrome extension, it looks like, too. Yep. Yeah. Great. And then it saves a personal library and it'll tell you when somebody's viewed it and opened it. Powtoon, that's still out there? Yeah, you know, Kelly loves this. Uh, Powtoon gives you the ability, another way to create animated scripts, explainers, whiteboard videos, GIFs. It's just another great tool. Hmm. Yeah, this, I'll, I'll take a look. This is uh, definitely, so it's a video creation suite, but it kind of gives you templates, right? Mm -hmm. To do messaging. Yeah. Let's look at their templates. Do you have any real estate stuff in here? I would imagine. Let's see. Industries, real estate. All sorts of stuff. Yeah, look at that. Let's look at this real estate ad. Don't let cool. go. It's an Let's see, like, well, see, my dad would have probably just tossed me in the pool when he was doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, moving right. on to website, of course, there might be some time where you're going to be doing like HTML uh, when you're building a custom page or a blog, or uh, maybe you're working within the uh, advanced email editor. But these tools of the online uh, HTML tools and resources and code beautify kind of give you the opportunity to be able to grab code and improve code or grab pre built templated things and yeah. use it. Cool. Um, I'll also include Pilly app. Oh, that's where, right. I forgot. I get all my, um, yep. But yeah, sim similar to this section. So Pilly app. I love. And the thing with these, these are um, 
these icons can be used in landing pages. Nowhere else, but landing pages work in the uh, header, subheader, and the bullets. Let's try it. I think we've shared recently, you can add at slash ask slash create to your URL, the shortcut to the landing page generator. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. It's not pasting for me. You know what it is? Did you click on the icon itself? Let me try. But Grammarly's okay. messing with me. I see it. It can sometimes, depending. But you have to open up the icon itself. You have to click on the icon. Like within the, usually it's the smiley people are like open it up. So it's like the whole view of the, just that face. Yeah. Or is it not allowing you to? Let's see. There we go. There you go. <clears throat> I see. So yeah, we yep. can put these in there. This is Grammarly is useful because I've done this a lot where I, I uh, have a typo. Mm -hmm. No, what? I wonder if it'll pick it up though, because it's it might be. I don't know. If it's I don't know. Well. It might yeah, because it, depending. Yeah, it's not going to play well with the editor, but. Um, but I, you I knew imagine. what you were doing right there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yes, I foreclosed. So. Actually, next time I run a foreclosure ad, I'm going to try it like that and see if I get a lot of comments about the typo um, to make the, the ad get more engagement from Facebook. You might, yeah. Intentional typo. Okay, then, Code Unify is uh, a similar, another tool to get things of sense of code, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So let's try this. Um, give me a pop. Oh, I was trying to be clever. I want to, what do I call those words that are saying backwards and forwards? Palindrome. Yes. Palindrome. I was trying to be a smart aleck and put a palindrome in and let it reverse the string, but. Taco cat. See, it's not working. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So that's the like palindrome cool. that comes to mind is taco cat. Um, and then the last one is the SEO keywords everywhere. Love this site because it lends you insight into keywords that are, may work for you for your SEO. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is super cool because within your SEO area pages, your AKA areas we cover on your website, you can actually add in keywords to lend itself to that long-term build of search engine optimization. So the idea here is that as you're trying to come up with stuff that the search engines will pick up, this mm -hmm. kind of lives in Chrome and will give you suggestions? Yes. Okay, cool. Let me... Pin this up here. And we should probably, before we close, show everyone where extensions live in Google Chrome so they know where to access them and turn them off or turn them on or. Yeah. Yeah. It's right up here at the top right. There's this little kind of puzzle piece looking thing where you can pin them so that they show in your dash or not. I mm -hmm. realize it's probably small for you guys. Let me see. And then all so your extensions I... line up at that top corner. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, now. Yes, shiny object day. That was a lot of stuff. There's thousands of others. <laughs> you did great though. <laughs> yeah. Is is there so is anybody else watching? Do you have anything else that we forgot that needs to be on this list? Just has to be that you use every day. Um, I haven't seen any notes yet on YouTube or the Facebook group, I think. Okay. Well, if you come yeah. up with stuff, just comment wherever you're watching this video, you know, uh, whether you're watching it in the next level, if you happen to find it on YouTube or the Facebook group, and we'll, we'll kind of, we'll kind of build this list out over time. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think we all want to get too distracted here, but a lot of these will come in handy as you go about your business. From oh, Kim is mentioning one called Tube Buddy. Yeah, it is a good one. Tube okay. Buddy. That's a YouTube, it helps you find YouTube uh, tags and, and titles and things like that, right? Cool. Um, yeah, Tube Buddy. I think that's a premium, like maybe they have a free version, Tube Buddy, let's see. I don't know if that's a free one or not. Oh, they have a free version. Yeah, but it'll tell you related titles and things like that. If you're, if you're definitely, if you're generating a lot of YouTube content. Mm -hmm. Definitely a must have. I know all big YouTubers use this or something like it. Um, cool. Cool, guys. Um, good. So, yeah, that was a tidy hour almost that we're mm -hmm. up against. Um, just so you know, guys, I'll do a quick update. Maybe we'll talk about this more tomorrow. Uh, that Pinterest ad I ran last week, I, I finally got it going a couple of days ago. It is getting clicks. 
Um, I'm not oh, sure cool. that I've, tra I've tracked any leads, but just to give you an idea, uh, three clicks for two. So this one was like a dollar a click. And I think I ran the ad twice. This one's $2 a click. So the traffic is there. And if you remember, we went pretty targeted to the local Metro. Mm -hmm. Um, so just, just an interesting thing. I'll, we'll dig in a little bit more on Pinterest over the coming, you know, days and weeks, but just, I wanted to mention that, um, for those of you who saw that episode, if you didn't, uh, it's in the next level mastermind. Also definitely check out, uh, inside realestate.com slash YouTube. Mm -hmm or insiderealestate.info slash YouTube. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at insiderealestate.info slash YouTube. Awesome. Cool. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow at the same time. Yep. Thanks so much for being here. And we will catch you on the flip. All right. See ya. Bye.